Hey, hey, it's Chrissy Lulu. So here's another video. Um, starting off with a sketch of one of my favorite girlies, my OC Estelle. Um, and yeah, today I wanted to talk about art theft. <laughs> so what people call art theft happens pretty much to anyone who gains even like a little bit of fame. Anyone someone sees some type of good in, you know, sees, sees good in their art. Pretty much it's inevitable that if you're going to be sharing it on the internet that it's going to happen at some point. So is art theft really theft? Technically, no. <laughs> um, pretty much what people typically call art theft is actually just copyright infringement. Since they aren't actually taking your art from you. Now, if someone came into your house and stole your originals, that would be art theft, definitely. If someone went into a museum and stole the Mona Lisa, that would definitely be art theft. Um, Something I'd also include in this category of art theft would probably be uh, when someone is taking your art and then selling it as their own, because then they're stealing your profit from this art. But anything else is kind of just taking your art and claiming it as your their own. Which, uh, well, dishonest, I don't know how much this hurts. At the same point, I have had not I have not had this happen to me yet. Um, I would probably be upset if this did happen to me, but I would hope that if it does happen to me, hopefully I'll have enough people who recognize my artwork and everything to kind of know that hey, this looks like some so and so's art, or this is so and so's art. But yeah, um, I was actually in one of my classes the other day, and some guy was talking about how he did a self-portrait of himself, and he posted it, and some guy was like, oh my god, this picture looks exactly like me. And then I think he said he took it, and he posted it on his Instagram. But um, this, from what I got from this conversation, was that it wasn't done maliciously. There's ways that taking someone else's art and posting it can be used unmaliciously. Kind of, in a way, how all those art pages do them. I don't really support many of them that just take art and repost it, like on Instagram. Just let, just let the person, the original person, post their own art. Just, you don't need to take someone else's art and post it. But, um, he didn't see this as a malicious act. He kind of was like, he found it funny. He found this whole situation to be very funny. And he was, he wasn't upset about it at all. So, I mean, there's many ways to take what people would qualify as art theft. So, you can, it can be something that isn't malicious. Like, someone appreciating your art wanting to share it with others. That's not something done out of malice. That's something done because they like it. While they may not be going about it the right way, that could be debatable. There's some people who are just jealous of what someone else has accomplished. And if we're going to be honest, posting someone else's art does kind of ruin your own integrity so if you ever even get good and you've done that and people know that you've done that it's not going to look as good for you still um so art theft is bad but people do treat it like it's bad it's not something that is done but everyone treats it like it's okay it's not something that's just widely accepted. It's looked down upon in our community, and we can see this through all the videos that have been uploaded about 
people speaking out against art theft and just speaking down to people who steal art and stuff. Now, there are other ways to kind of jip people, but I can talk about those in another video. Those aren't typically kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video. Kind of, we've seen a lot of videos of either a artist being scammed or artist scamming people. And I haven't actually experienced any of that myself. So, I mean, I don't really see much of a point in me doing my own video on that topic, I guess. Um, with being scammed and stuff, I do go to conventions sometimes. I've only been to three, but I typically don't really buy a lot of art. And when I do, I don't ever get commissions. So I haven't ever been scammed by an artist that way. And I don't do commissions online because I don't typically enjoy doing online transactions. And it's only been recently since I've really gotten my own money and I've had like a debit card to go online and purchase stuff like this. I've had that since my senior year of high school, junior year of high school, I don't know, one of the two. And by that point, I was like, I don't really see a point in buying stuff online. So I just didn't and I never really asked for free art anyways it's just not been something that I have really ever wanted which is kind of why I don't buy a lot of art at cons literally the only art I can think of that I bought was I bought these cute little buttons from this girl um, that were of cat mermaids and a dog in a dessert bowl so they were adorable I couldn't resist so I had to get them um, but yeah, I'm not really a big art buyer. I hope maybe someday I can maybe sell art at conventions. I think that would be actually, like, awesome. I love going to conventions and everything, but, yeah, I like them for, it's not, I love looking at the art, but a lot of the conventions I go to, I just don't, there's a lot of artists who I don't, I see and I just don't see anything that they're selling that I'd be interested in. Like I'm not a fan of whatever shows they've drawn or the stuff they have for sale. I'm not a fan of their style. I don't want a commission. I just I don't know. If I I don't know what I'd ask for if I'd ask for a commission anyways, but anyways, I'm rambling. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share to your friends, do anything you want. If you enjoy my stuff, I'd recommend all of the above. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!